What's up everyone and welcome to a new series where we build an external GPU slash deep learning machine. So in this series, we're going to take this Lenovo ThinkPad T420S, this GTX 1050 Ti, we're going to hook it up externally, we're going to install TensorFlow, and we're going to do some deep learning. So the goal of this build is to show you how you can repurpose an old laptop, hook up a GPU to it, and get some decent deep learning results. So we're going for a budget build, try and keep the cost down, but get as much performance as we can. So we're gonna go through all the hardware installation, software installation with TensorFlow, and look at the performance results. So let's get started. So to begin this series, I'm gonna focus on the hardware, talk about what I selected, why I selected it, and also give you some other options. So the laptop I chose is the Lenovo ThinkPad T420S. So this thing has an i5-2520M processor, which is a dual core, but it has hyper-threading, so it's got four hyper-threaded cores. It came with four gigs of RAM, but I've upgraded it to eight. It had a regular hard drive, but I upgraded it to an SSD. So I've got 256 gig Samsung 80, 840 Evo Pro in here. And I also took the DVD drive out and they have these little tray caddies. So I put the old hard drive in. So basically there's a, um, a hard drive instead of the DVD drive. I also replaced the battery because I was getting like less than an hour of battery life with the old battery. So um, with the new one, I get about maybe three hours with it. And then um, that's pretty much it. Just kind of cleaned it up. Um, I also redid the thermal paste on it. So with all of that, including the battery, it's about $110, but I don't see that as necessary. So if I were to exclude the battery, it was just $70, so $50 for the laptop and $20 for the RAM upgrade, which is kind of ridiculous, but RAM prices are ridiculous. So we'll say $70 so far invested in it. And the reason why I chose it or well, ThinkPads are a good choice because there's a surplus of these things on eBay. So if you type in ThinkPad, T410, T420, T430, you'll find a ton of these things on eBay because these are their business laptops. So there's lots of companies who bought them and after like three or four years, they switch out to new ones. So they take these and then they either donate them or sell them for dirt cheap. So you'll find, you'll find tons of these on eBay and most of them you can get for under a hundred bucks. And because they're business laptops, they're built pretty well. And they're very serviceable. You can upgrade the RAM, you can swap out the CPU, the hard drive is super easy to replace. So they're just, they're nice to work on, nothing too complex. Like I was able to take this whole thing apart. I'll add an image up on the screen to show you, but I took it apart, I replaced the thermal paste and all of that, it was pretty simple. So you really can't go wrong with these ThinkPads. And another reason why I went with it is because they have this thing called the express port. So let me show you that real quick. So the express port, it accepts these little cards. So they're like expansion cards where you can put like, say, um, USB three or ethernet or Wi-Fi stuff like that. So, You'll find these on these old business laptops. This port is pretty much useless now. Um, it's basically obsolete, but you can find these things online. So this is a, it's a um, express card to HDMI cable. And then it comes with this thing right here. So you can see here, it's a PCI a PCIe um, 16 lane adapter, and then you just plug in the HDMI cable. So now we can hook up our GPU externally. So um, you just plug in um, external power, so an old computer power supply to these um, ports here, plug the GPU in through the, um, through the PCIe lanes, and then connect it to your laptop. 
through the um the express card slot so that's why i went with this it's pretty it's a pretty clean solution so now let me show you the where the port is on the laptop so if you look on the side here i've got you well there's vents usb uh the headphone jack and then there's this thing right here so if i just push this thing in I can pop this out. So this is a um, express card adapter for a SD card. So I can just pop this out. And then I can plug in this express card. So that's how I'm going to hook up my GPU externally. So it's a pretty clean option. You'll see that they make these things with um, the one lane um, PCIe cards so I'll throw a picture of that up but basically you're gonna hook you would hook it up through a PCI lane inside the laptop so typically you'll have to I'd have to open up this back plate this this plate you see right here so underneath here is the RAM and the Wi-Fi card and stuff like that so you would have to like remove the Wi-Fi card and plug it in that way which is not a clean way to do it. So you, you lose your Wi-Fi, and then you have this cable running out the back, and you gotta leave this plate off. So that's how you might see people do it, but I don't know, it's, it's an ugly solution. This is, going through the express card, I think is a lot better option. So that's how we're gonna hook it up. So this laptop actually came with Windows 7 Pro installed with a license, but I'm not a big fan of Windows 7, so what I did was install Ubuntu 18. So we're going to be using that for our operating system. And just to give you an idea of the specs, I'm going to go ahead and stream from here, show you the OS, show you some of the specs, and yeah, show you that this thing is capable of streaming. So one more thing, I bought this little sound, USB sound card. Let me go ahead and pull this over. So it's this pile two channel mixer. So you just go through USB into the um, laptop and it'll record the audio coming in. I had to do this because if I sent the audio through the normal headphone jack, there was just this really bad hissing sound. Like it was way louder than my voice. You couldn't even hear my voice. It was just all static. So maybe I'll play that just so you can hear it. Do you guys like the way this sounds? But now what I'm gonna do is uh, jump over stream on this thing and give you a little walkthrough. So here we are on the Lenovo desktop. So what you see here is Ubuntu 18 or Bionic Beaver. So this is the latest distribution on Ubuntu. And I've got the normal, I'm not sure what desktop this is, um, the GNOME or I don't know. But yeah, this is the, the standard Ubuntu 18 um, distribution. I did install a theme, this one called Arc Dark. So it gives you this dark theme with nice icons. But yeah, that's the great thing about Linux. You can really customize it. So we're going to be going with this instead of Windows just because, I don't know, I feel like changing it up and trying something new with this. And like I said, I don't like Windows 7 that much. And just to give you an idea of the specs, so I'm just going to up a NeoFetch window so you can see Ubuntu, Bionic Beaver, um, our kernel, our packages, shell is bash. So the resolution on this screen is 1600 by 900. So that's what's nice about the T420S. You get a bigger resolution or higher resolution screen over the normal T420. So yeah, higher resolution screen. You can see that we've got eight gigs of memory, but our GPU is the Intel integrated graphics. So we're going to be changing that. We want this to say uh, GTX 1050 Ti. But yeah, so we also have that i5 2520M running at 3.2 gigahertz. And I'm able to run um, OBS for a screen recording. The CPU is getting a bit hot. So you can see up here, it's up to 80 degrees C. Um, even though I replaced the thermal paste, this thing still runs pretty hot. So I did buy some of this liquid metal uh, CPU paste, which I'm going to be doing, but I'm probably going to do that after 
this whole GPU build because there is some risks involved with that. And I don't want to risk destroying this laptop until after I make these videos. But that should help with the CPU temps. But for now, we're just going to let it run hot. And yeah, this is the desktop. It's, um, you know, it's pretty nice. You can pop open uh, terminals and run HTOP, make you look like a hacker and like you know what you're doing. But anyways, um, that's it for the laptop. So now I'm going to switch back over to my normal desktop. So before we go, I want to briefly talk about how much I've spent on the rig. So I already mentioned that the laptop was 50 the RAM was 20 so $70. I bought the extra battery, but it wasn't necessary, so I'm not going to count that. The GPU, I spent $240, which is $100 over the MSRP value. And that's because, as you know, the GPU prices right now are just insane. Everything is marked up nearly 100%. So that's $250. Plus 70 so we're looking at 320 plus this um, eGPU and PCIe um, thing was another $45 so 320 plus 45 365 so we're still we're still under um, $200 sorry we're still under $400 so yeah that leaves us room for little odds and ends um, like for example this uh little drive caddy i got that was only um eight dollars so you can grab one of those um thermal paste if you want to do the thermal paste i also i even bought little rubber pads because the rubber pads were missing and this thing was so lopsided that was five bucks but all in all we're staying under four hundred dollars which is pretty good if you ask me. Uh, most people will be spending more than $400 just on a laptop. So if you've already got the laptop, that's great. And yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. In the next one, we're going to focus on the hardware and we're going to hook everything up. So we're going to hook the GPU up to the computer, power it on, get it working, and maybe just play a game just to show that we're getting um, some improved graphics from it. And in the next one, we're going to go in and install TensorFlow and start doing some benchmarks. So like always, if you like the video, leave it a like. If you've got any questions, um, concerns, you want to talk about hardware, suggestions, anything like that, comment below or use the Facebook group. So feel free to contact me, chat, whatever. And if you guys like the content, then hit the subscribe button. There'll be more videos like this in the future. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.